Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2, part 14. I'm just adjusting my mic, because it's messed up. Okay. In the last part, we went to the Awakening Wood, and we found the Blue Pikmin, and went to the Bull Black's Kingdom, and stuff. So, now we're going to go on to the Awakening Wood again, and finish it up in this day. So... This is going to be our first area that we've completed, so that's cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, so Awakening Wood time for the last time. This is the last time we are landing here. It's kind of sad, but I'm ready to move on. Awakening Wood is kind of like... The, it's, it is, it is plain and simple fact, it is the easiest area in the game. Um, no doubt about it. I mean... It is the easiest area because it gives you, there's the easiest caves and it just gives you access to some of the easier above ground treasures and such. But anyways, what we're going to do today is find the last cave, obviously. I think I said that. I can't remember. That's pretty sad. But we need to um, work our way towards the last part of the area of the Awakening Wood. Now, I do want to say this before I get going a lot here um if you didn't notice yet but the awakening wood is a lot it does resemble a lot <clears throat> to the force of hope for example um up here this is where we found the yellow pikmin in the game in the first game uh up here we found a treasure yeah oh, are you start is it starting to come back to you up here was another treasure. There was a wall blocking that. And then there was... I don't want to go over there because of enemies and stuff. But... Yeah. And our landing site was, orig was originally where the berry plants were. So this area definitely evolved and grew a lot in between um, us landing here. And then a few days later, we, I think. I would imagine a few days later, we came back and wow, it changed. But yeah, with that aside, um, and then remember we went up here, it was, this is kind of different, now there's water up here. But there still was in the first game, now it's just kind of expanded a little bit. And there's bridges and stuff instead of boxes. And wallywogs. But, um, there are a few things that are still the same, and we will discover that in a little bit. But for now, it's puzzle time, of course. It wouldn't be Pikmin without a puzzle or two trying to get treasures and work our way to different areas like so so we have a wallywog here obviously i want to kill him he's gonna go in the water isn't he don't do that don't drown my pikmin oh no 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 please don't drown that is the last thing i need is for pikmin to drown because that would be a major setback major 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 um all right let's get our 50 blue pikmin and let's work our way over here across the water up the land and obviously we do need blue pikmin to break down this bridge so let's get that started and just like we have poison walls we have poison bridges what a shock so yeah we're gonna need white pikmin that's why i brought them we don't need yellow pikmin we don't need red pikmin red pikmin are pretty much done with above ground stuff for like the rest of the game we only take them underground like i said in the last part to grow pikmin so Red Pikmin are kind of useless. In, well, no. They really are useless in the game. They're only useful in the beginning of the game because um, you're kind of forced into the situation because you start with the Red Pikmin. But once you get the Purple Pikmin, then you're just kind of like, forget these guys. I can use these guys to kill fiery bullhogs and fire spouts and practically any, any, any enemy in the game. Then once you get White Pikmin, that solves the poison problems. So yeah, um... Red Pikmin just become useless after you get the purple Pikmin. So the first day is what they're... The first two days are why they're useful. And numbers, too. It's better to have numbers. And because you don't get many purple Pikmin to start with. 25 is, like, at the most, so... Yeah, um... Let's get this poison thing out of the way. It's very loud. I don't know if it's loud on YouTube or... Maybe it's my headset. I don't know, but it's really annoying my ears. Like, it sounds like a fo like a huge fog machine. Like, it's or so like a thunderstorm. I don't know. It's like thunder. It's really weird. Alright, you know what? Get rid of the poison. Alright, thank you. The annoying sound is gone. Continue on the bridge. 
Um, let's see. This bridge is pretty, pretty short. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's get the rest of the Pikmin. And let's work our way over here. Now, before we go on to collect carcasses and such for growing blue Pikmin, there is an above ground treasure. Now, remember the scales from the first from the first game? They weren't in the first game. I mean, remember the scales from Perplexing Pool? Well, yeah, they're back. But didn't I show that off? I don't think I did. Um, I might do it if I have time, but um, never mind. Um, for now, we're not going to get the above ground treasure yet because we do need to get a few more things done. One of which is destroy an enemy. Or annihilate, I should say. Better vocab. Um, although you probably don't really care. Uh, I, I don't know, but... Yeah, there's a snag here. That's what I was trying to say the whole time. So, it's a trap. Um, if you try to get the above ground treasure, the snagger will basically pop out of the ground and eat all, eat all your Pikmin. Unless you're prepared for it, like me. Let's see, what's gonna, what's it gonna do? Awesome, that's just what I want you to do. Thank you, Mr. Snagger, for following my list of directions that I passed out to you sometime in the past. Thank you for dying. So now the Snagger's out of the way. Obviously, he was pretty easy with the purple Pikmin. Um, there is another sort of trap. Um, what's funny is when Pikmin carry back things across here, they will actually, in the first in the first game, they didn't go off the sledge. A, because of water. B, just simply because they, they were scared of heights a lot, I think. It was kind of like that. It acted like it, but... Now they will. So there's kind of another minor trap. They don't really carry anything across this guy, but there is a creeping chrysanthemum here. I might as well kill him so he doesn't annoy me later on. That is a big mouth you got there, dude. I don't mean when you talk. I mean when you eat. Um, let's kill you. Nectar would be wonderful for these slow blue people. Alright. And there is... Well, it's not enemy, technically per se, um, there is a iridescent glint beetle here, remember the name, so we need some spicy sprays, that'd be wonderful, and just neck. well, I guess he doesn't give nectar, uh, dude, oh, he went away, what, well, I guess I got one, that's better than none. I'd like some more bitter sprays, though, but anyways, um, are you going to carry back to the blue Pikmin? Yes, you are. What about you? Yes, you are. What about you? Yes, you are. Wow, these guys are listening. What about you? No, you're not going to listen. What about you? Yes, you will listen. What about you? Yay. Alright. So, besides that one purple Pikmin, I'm gonna have those guys carry that stuff back for now. Um, I want to get these guys separated so they don't start carrying stuff back a whole lot. Um, I know there's a wall over there. We're gonna get, we're gonna get to that in a little bit. Um, it's puzzle time. It's everyone's favorite time. Um... Let's see, how are we gonna do this? I need to get, let's get this stuff above ground, so. Stupid Pikmin, don't bug with this stuff, it's annoying. All right, now let's split up the armies. I need 15, that's all I need, 15. 25, that's more than I need, but. All right, so what do you wanna do? You wanna throw at least 15 blue Pikmin up here. Make sure you have, 31. That definitely makes this at least 31 blue Pikmin. This makes that makes it much easier. If not more, but if you have less, I think it's possible. But I'm not sure. It's really difficult and time consuming. But throw your 15 up there or more, and then throw more than that over here. It'll lift up the scale. Then you can use your captain up here to throw Pikmin up there to get the treasure. Boom! Got it. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, just annoying. But it's actually... I like it. That was actually a really cool idea. But... Scales in this game, they're definitely... Per they can be a puzzle. I know there's going to be another big puzzle later on. In the perplexing pool that I'm not looking forward to. It's a puzzle. It is a puzzle. But it's not too hard. Once you figure it out. I will tell you a tale 
of my experience with that puzzle later on. I will definitely tell you about it, but um, it was not fun, I'll tell you that. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to do it, so. Anyways, um, it's starting to get late. I've just realized that, so I better get going. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? Let's get you guys on there. Now, I think I'm gonna come back for the wall and stuff later. They're actually... We need to get to the last cave. Let's grow some more blue Pikmin. Why not? I have the time. Oh, well, apparently we grew some yellow Pikmin, too. That's nice. Oh, I, that one... I wanted that to go to the blue Pikmin. Idiot white Pikmin. Um, anyways. We have a... Air break. Hunter Pokos. I... That, what is that, Birdie? Yeah, it's for Badminton, I think. Alright, let's get the blue Pikmin to get this stuff. And yes, as you can see, since we got all the above ground treasures, um, we now have completed all the above... Like, the treasure gauge goes off, so we have now officially completed um, Awakening Wood above ground. But we still have that last cave to get to, and I will get to that momentarily. I'm just... Okay, we didn't really more need a lot more red Pikmin, but whatever. I won't complain. Alright, so now that I think we've got everything back... Fluck. Let's get everybody. I'll save some more things for later in the day. Alright. So, let's figure out our numbers here after we get Nectar. I'm definitely taking my time, I'll tell you. I would have rushed through everything if I was doing this yesterday. If I had time, I would have rushed through all this. But... The only good thing, like I said, about today is that I can grow a lot of blue Pikmin, so that's like the only advantage I have. Alright. Thank you. Good job, you plucked one you plucked a grass, a one little sprout. Alright, I'm gonna bring Let me think. I'm gonna bring thirty blue Pikmin. That's I'm gonna mount. I'm gonna bring... Oh, we don't really need a bunch of yellow Pikmin. There's barely any electricity. We don't need red Pikmin for this cave. That's actually the funny thing about this cave. For once, you don't need red Pikmin, if at all. You bring any ever. Um, I like our numbers. I will, well, I guess I'll bring some more white Pikmin. No, blue Pikmin. More, bl more blue Pikmin. I just... Thought. Let's bring more blue Pikmin. Um. All right, that's all right, that's good. So let's go to the cave. So yeah, the last cave of the game. This is our last of the game. It's not the last cave of the game. Last cave of the Awakening Wood. I meant to say. Last time of uh walking across the glitched bridge, as I like to call it. And we have one stupid leaved blue Pikmin. Out of all the blue Pikmin to go back in the onion, I was stuck with you. No offense. No offense. Alright. Yeah, it's starting to get towards the end of the day. So yeah, the last cave is actually behind the wall here. In the tree trunk, what looks like. Intriguing. My acoustic sensors are picking up a high-pitched wail. It seems to emanate from the area near this gigantic stump. This large root must penetrate deep beneath the plant's surface. Fascinating. So yeah, um, let's hurry up and break down this wall, please. We should be able to break it. I have a spice. I have spicy sprays just in case. But so yeah, the last time in the Awakening Wood, like I said earlier, this does exactly rep pretty much. It changes a little bit, but this is basically the Forest to Hope all over again. So yeah. Fun while it lasted, but I'm ready to get complete this area. I'm really ready to complete this area. Hurry, gather your Pikmin. Well, we're going into a cave. So anyways, next time on Let's Play Pikmin 2, we go into the final cave, Awakening Wood. I'll see you guys then.